guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I am a newly caramel blonde stuff. Uh, I did this myself a couple hours ago. This is the hair color that I use. It's from Schwarzkopf and it is a 7.5 caramel blonde. This is actually really close to my natural hair color. I think my natural hair color is just a little bit lighter, but yeah, I thought it was time for a change. I was going to go another round of pink. Really love, I'm definitely doing pink again next summer. Um, but I decided, you know what? I'm getting all these fall vibes. I'm really into just like looking at fall, fall decor and sweaters. And I know it's 90 degrees outside, but you know, I'm just ready for a little cool down. So huh, this is why I decided to color my hair uh, the color that I did. So we're not here to talk about hair. We are here to talk about the new House Labs foundation and setting powder. I was so excited for this. Guys, the packaging like this, this could hurt somebody if you throw it at them. Don't do that. But there's a nice weight to this foundation. This is the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. Now there are 51 shades in this foundation. I chose to go with, what shade did I get? 110 Light Neutral. You do have to shake this really well. It's a very liquidy foundation and you do get a pump, but this, man, the weight on this, like this is pretty luxury. And over here, the powder, the powder comes in four or five different shades. I went with the lightest one, uh, which is called translucent. And this is the bio blurring loose setting powder. And in here, I do like the packaging of this. And I like that it has a little netting. I think that's, that's really easy, convenient. It doesn't get too messy. So um, we're going to be trying both of these products out today. This is going to be a two day, 10 hour wear test on my 40 year old normal to oily skin. Uh, if this is your first time watching one of my foundation reviews, first and foremost, hello and welcome. Um, I'm Steph and I love doing foundation reviews, especially like just complexion products. I grew up with acne prone skin and I just, I've always been into foundation and concealer since I was in middle school, always had something to cover up. Now, thankfully, not so much. The acne has gone away, but I do have old acne scars, minor discoloration on the sides my cheeks I prefer more of a medium coverage which this is going to be a medium coverage um, I like medium to full coverage foundations and I like a natural finish which this one is a natural finish that we're gonna be trying out today um, and I definitely like to have a glow I want to be matte in the t-zone but I want to have a glow everywhere else so hopefully this uh, foundation powder combo can help me achieve just that. Now let me go ahead and give you some background information about the foundation. We'll start off with this one first. It retails for $45. Again, 51 different shades to choose from. Um, the highlighted call out ingredients about this product um, are fermented arnica. That product or that ingredient is going to visibly reduce redness and irritation. I do have a little bit of redness um, on my skin. Uh, it also says it's infused with Intellizin, Intellizin 7 Complex. Intel, Intellizin 7 Complex. Gosh, some of the ingredient names like in all of these products I've been testing out, I'm like, am I pronouncing them right? But this is a proprietary blend of medical herbs that promote healing and calming. Very nice. It also has BioFerment 7 Complex. This is also another proprietary blend of super antioxidants that protect the skin from stress. I think we can all use um, a little de-stressor every now and then. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, and uh, gluten-free as well. Again, medium coverage. I would say, after using this for two days, I would say this is more medium to full coverage. I definitely think it's buildable to where you'll get on the low end of full coverage um, natural finish liquid consistency um, and it's clean at Sephora now as far as the powder goes that the powder here retails for $38 uh, there are five different shades okay there are five different shades to choose from again I went with uh, the translucent uh, shade it is vegan cruelty free it's also labeled clean at Sephora it says that this uh, clean skincare infused loose powder is going to blur imperfections it's going to smooth skin and optimize makeup performance in five talc-free soft focus shades. 
all of that sounds great to me. It has uh, some of the same ingredients as um, the foundation does, but it also has plant squalene and tourmaline. Both of those products are going to help to um, boost hydration, and um, they're also going to help support cellular, cellular energy. I don't know. All of that sounds great to me. You know, I don't really... I don't really buy a foundation based on the amount of skincare ingredients it has. Like, I, I've i never thought and I still don't think that a foundation of makeup can help improve the look of your skin over time with wear. I feel like that's not the makeup's job. That's my skincare's job. So I'll leave it at that. Um, I like that they put those ingredients, but again, I'm not necessarily looking for those ingredients. So very anxious to try both of these products out i do want to say that in i've already tried a few products from house labs this new revamped brand and i do speak on this later in the video but i'm really liking this new brand um i think that this more represents lady gaga and maybe her initial thought of what she wanted house labs to be and i don't necessarily that i don't necessarily feel that came off with the first launch of house labs when it was over on amazon and on their own website now that they've totally redesigned this brand reformulated everything i feel like this is more true to the vision that lady gaga had i mean i don't know i don't know her i don't know exactly what her vision was but I guess I can see more of her, her persona um, within this brand. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of this newly revamped House Labs. I will say that the products that I have tried have all worked really well for me. No complaints. So I have really high expectations for these two new complexion products from the brand. Once again, if it is your first time here on my channel, um, you're always going to see the latest and greatest in makeup reviews, especially foundation and concealer. Those are two things very near and dear to my heart. And I just love trying out new complexion products. I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos. If all that sounds great to you and you want to see my videos on pretty much a daily basis because I do tend to upload quite a bit please do me a favor click on the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it that way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video and if you like what you see if you are excited for another foundation review if you're just curious about house labs in general give this video a thumbs up before you go as usual guys all of the makeup that I'm using uh, talking about both on and off camera will be linked in the description box some of those links might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping through them I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel I am wearing uh, I'm wearing the lipstick or the lip trio from Natasha Denona. Where did I put the lipstick? Oh, it's here. Here it is. So I have, these are all three in the shade Natasha. The lipstick was pre-existing already. That's what it looks like. Now it's just in this My Dream Collection packaging. And I didn't have the shade. I didn't have any lip liners from Natasha Denona. And I want to say the gloss is new, but all three on the lips love it love it like i can see why this is her part of her my dream collection because this would be one of my dream lip combos too let's get started with today's two-day 10-hour wear test guys if y'all want to see these two new house labs complexion products in action keep on watching Okay guys, let's start applying this new foundation. I'm gonna give it a good shake. So today I'm not gonna wear it with any powder. Um, I am gonna try out the setting powder in today's video, but I'm gonna try setting one under eye area and um, not setting the other, just to see how it's gonna work, you know, with a couple different concealers over these next two days. So today's mainly just gonna see how the foundation wears. And it is a very, liquidy for a uh, formula once again the shade that i picked up is 110 what was it light 110 and i'm using my bk 101 foundation brush wow that's some nice coverage and i did two pumps it makes me feel like this is going to be one of those foundations where a little goes a long way I feel like the shade, I like it, but it might be like a tad too dark, which is actually fine. I don't mind if it's a tad darker. Put it on my under eye area as well, just to see. 
Yeah, it covers there too. Um, this is going to be natural finish, medium coverage, but I definitely think this is more medium to full coverage. It's definitely building up. And this is always the area where I like to spot conceal and just build up coverage. And wow. Wow. One dip with my brush, that was more than enough to do this right side of my face. So now I'm going to go in with my damp beauty sponge. And I don't think, well, let's see. Feel the brush is going to be a lot better. The product is just going to go farther with the brush. I could be wrong. Yeah, so I'm practically done with what I had on the back of my hand. You can definitely see the difference in coverage from this side to this side just by using a brush. So I'm going to pump out a little bit more and I'm going to go back in with a brush. And then I'll use a sponge to pat over everything just to make sure it's as seamless as possible. Okay, so I'm taking a closer look at this while I press everything into the skin. Wow. I mean, it's there's definitely a glow all on its own. Uh, I'm a little nervous because I'm not going to powder this down. I really hope it kind of starts to set itself. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to use one that I enjoy very much, and it's the Lancome Tinty Dull Ultra Wear. I'm not going to spot, well, actually, I'm going to add a little bit just right here, so the blemish there, but um, I'm only going to powder down one under eye area so we can, like, test out the powder and just see how that does under the eye area. I did buy the shade Translucent in the powder. Okay, so the concealer went on top of the foundation perfectly. I'm really liking the way the complexion looks. Here is the powder. It does come fully sealed and it does have the little net. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set the right eye. I think that looks pretty good. It's almost hard to tell that I'm picking any up, but I am. It is translucent. Okay, so as of right now, it definitely feels tacky. Like this foundation is not set and I'm not gonna set it. We're gonna see how it does all by itself and then we're also kind of just doing a little mini wear test on the powder for the under eye area. But I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then I will do a check-in with you guys during lunchtime. We'll see how the foundation and how the powder under the right eye is wearing. And I have high hopes for this. I like the coverage so far. I like the shade even though it is a little, a tad little, little too dark for me but that's okay I can blend it and, and make it work and I'm just really excited I'm really excited for this release from house labs and look my hair is already sticking to my cheek oh that's because it's not set <sighs> okay guys I gotta get going to work I will check in with you guys later Hey guys, five hour check in here with this new House Labs foundation. Here's what my complexion is looking like. I purposely didn't add bronzer or blush or highlighter just, you know, so we can see how the foundation's doing. Um, I think the setting powder is laying really well on top of the concealer. So I'm going to be really anxious to pair this foundation with that setting powder tomorrow. I feel like my nose is definitely shiny though. I've kind of felt this way ever since I got to work this morning, but um, this is what the complexion looks like it does feel a little bit tacky although not as tacky as when I initially applied it I think it looks really pretty it hasn't rubbed off for me not setting this and for me being a normal to oily skin type I think this looks actually looks really pretty I'm really liking it I love the shade I love the coverage I have really high expectations for it more so tomorrow and I'm anxious to try the powder tomorrow so so far Things are looking great. I will be back later on. Once I get home from work, we'll do the final check-in of the day. And then tomorrow is going to be the real wear test. Stay tuned. 
Hey guys, we come to the end of this day one 10 hour wear test trying out these new House Labs complexion products. Here's what my complexion is looking like with the foundation. I have been wanting to blot my nose since lunch and I haven't. I haven't touched it. Um, I'm actually surprised I'm not more oily than what I am. I feel like the foundation held up really well on the perimeter of my face, even on my forehead where I do tend to get oily, but nothing is breaking apart. Even though my oil is starting to come through, like everything still looks smooth, um, even around my nose, like maybe just a little bit. It's like caking up right here because of obviously the oil, but down here around my mouth, the sides of my cheeks, my chin, I might have lost a little bit of coverage right here, but not too bad. Not too bad. I definitely think this is a good medium bordering on full coverage foundation. I really like the natural finish. I love a natural finish when it comes um, to foundation. I think that this is going to be really good tomorrow with the setting powder. I do like the way my under eye area looks with the Lancome concealer and this new uh, setting powder from House Labs. I also like the way this side looks, but I like the way this side looks a little bit better. But you can see this is a very smoothing foundation. It doesn't really accentuate any texture. I think this is going to be fantastic for those of you with normal to dry or full on dry skin. Those of you that are like me, normal to oily, I think we'll wait for tomorrow for the final verdict, but I think this is going to be something you'd like as well, but definitely something that you're going to want to powder down at least your T-zone with. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. I had high hopes for it. I'm really liking this revamped House Labs brand. I feel like this new revamped brand accurately represents, or more so represents, Lady Gaga than the debut of House Labs. So let me know what you think about that, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. I will check in with you guys in the morning. I'll let you know what products I applied. See, let you see how the foundation is wearing with the setting powder. And I'm excited. I'm excited for tomorrow's wear test. I will check in with you guys in the morning. Hey guys, welcome to day two. And I am a newly caramel blonde stuff. At least that's what it said on the box. I did this myself. I'll have it in the description box in case you want to check it out. But this is really close to my natural hair color, at least this part down here. So excited for that. Something new for fall. Let me quickly tell you what uh, I went in with this morning. I've had this face of makeup on for a little over an hour now. So I started off with the One Size Secure the Blur Primer. Really have been enjoying this primer. If you're a normal to oily or full on oily skin type, I think um, you might enjoy this one as well. For a concealer, I'm giving the Milk Future Fluid Concealer another shot. I have it under this eye and I also spot concealed with it over here. And on the left eye, I'm wearing a different concealer. I'm wearing the latest one from Vive. You guys have seen reviews on this already. This is the Modern Radiance Concealer. I am doing two different concealers just because I want to try the powder and just see how these different concealers interact with the foundation. So I did place Vive under the left eye and I did spot conceal a little bit on the left cheek. And then of course, um, the foundation, the powder. I did the powder all over. I even set the perimeter of my face, made sure to set my nose, the under eye area, and I just love the way my complexion looks. I'm using two different setting sprays. The first one I went in with is this one from Smashbox. It's the Photo Finish um, Endurance Breathable Setting Spray. This is alcohol free and I did get the mini size of it. And then just to finish everything off, I went in with my favorite Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. For bronzer, I went in with the LYS. This is the powder bronzer. And for blush, it's actually a highlighter from House Labs, but I use it as a blush. And this one is in the shade Rose Quartz. I think it's beautiful as like a glowy blush. I love it. I definitely, definitely want to get a couple more shades of this one. I'm also wearing a new mascara, the new one from Tower 28, the Make Waves Mascara. This is one coat. One coat. I will have a Instagram reel and a YouTube short video go up. I don't know if it's going to go up before this one does, but I do like a 10 hour wear test with this mascara. This is like the third time I wear it and I absolutely love it. I think it's really good. And when you apply two coats, holy cow. Um, for highlighter, I went in with one from Wet n Wild. This one right here. This is the uh, Botanic Dream Highlighter. 
I love it. I love the way all of my makeup looks. I'm wearing a Tower 28 The Clear lip gloss over here, and I'm getting ready to eat lunch. So I will check in with you guys later in the day, uh, midday check-in. We'll see how the complexion is wearing. Um, I don't have any errands to run today, but I do have chores and just things to do here in the house and I will be in and outdoors so we'll see we'll see how the makeup holds up and I will check in with you guys a little bit later hey guys five hour check-in here with these new house labs complexion products here is what the complexion is looking like very good I don't have any complaints right now even the milk concealer the future fluid concealer from milk that didn't work out for me yesterday is holding steady and i think it's because of the house lab setting powder but both under eye areas look great i'm not excessively oily i mean there's a little bit of shine but it's not too much it's a bit of a glow it's a glow we'll call it a glow i just i love the way the complexion looks even though the foundation is a slight bit, bit too dark for me I, I i think it still looks really good feels really comfortable hasn't accentuated any texture it's just it's a lightweight a really nice finish good coverage foundation five more hours to go guys then we'll wrap up today's wear test um i'll give you guys maybe some alternatives uh to something you might already have in your stash in case you're not gonna be able to uh, pick up this foundation or the setting powder i got you covered guys i'll check in with you guys later Okay guys, we have come to the end of this two day wear test, trying out the new House Labs foundation as well as setting powder, and I'm ready to share with you my final thoughts. So here is what my skin is looking like at the 10 hour mark. No touch ups throughout the day, just a little light brushing away of fallout that I got from, you know, applying the lashes, creating the eye look earlier. But other than that, I think my skin looks really good. Um, it is showing a little bit of signs of wear right in this area where my oil is coming through a little bit right down here on my chin as well this is typically the area where foundation will start to break down on me first I think the forehead looks great I think the perimeter of my face all looks great I like it I think this is a really really pretty foundation from house labs the triclone skin tech foundation this is nice. This is definitely something that I think it's worth. It's a $45 price tag. I mean, just the packaging alone, like this is, this has some nice weight to it, guys. I think Lady Gaga and her team at House Labs did a really nice job with this. Like this is a really nice release. Um, it is a very liquidy foundation, kind of like a serum type of foundation. Um, and I thought it definitely provided a more than medium coverage and a little of this product is going to go a long way. So definitely start with a small amount and then just, just build into it as needed. It's definitely a buildable foundation. Again, I am 40 years old and I have normal to oily skin and this just worked great on me for me i'm definitely gonna have to pair this with a setting powder uh for example the new one that they just released um in order to keep my t-zone um as matte as possible but everywhere all else on my face i think the foundation just wore so well it's really a lightweight foundation it doesn't accentuate texture or anything like that it really does do like provide a smoothing appearance and i can tell that it is hydrating hydrating without causing excess oiliness now um, as far as the setting powder goes I like the setting powder I think it actually saved this milk concealer because the milk concealer looks much better today than it did um, yesterday when I was wearing it or the day before yesterday when I was wearing it um, the Vive concealer also looks really good so I'm gonna be anxious to try this powder out with other concealers other foundations just to see you know how it's going to work and to see if it's really going to help control oil with other foundations maybe more glowy radiant foundations that i have in my stash this foundation from house labs is a natural finish which i love a good natural finish foundation the powder is super lightweight very finely milled and i thought it did a fantastic job of just helping me stay matte for pretty much all day long and just keeping the under eye concealer looking great so i do have some dupe alternative recommendations before I get into that 
I'm giving both of these products two thumbs up, guys. I highly recommend if you've been checking them out, if you've been maybe watching some reviews, just reading up on um, the benefits of these products on the Sephora site, because you can find these on Sephora and, of course, at the House Labs, um, their own website. Uh, I'm here to tell you that I definitely think at least one of them, at least the foundation, I definitely think uh, give that one a shot. If you can get a sample, go in store and get a sample, and maybe you want to get Shade Match in store. Um, then go that route but I think this is going to be a foundation that's going to be beneficial to a lot of you no matter what your skin type is I honestly see this working for so many different types of skin now dupe alternative recommendations so in the swatch portion of the video I compared it or I swatched it against two foundations that I have in my stash these two foundations really reminded me of this new one from house labs the first one being from Milan comb this is their latest foundation and this is the tint Edol Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation. I have the shade 125W and I also have a deeper shade in this one, but this is the one that is best suits my skin tone. This is a beautiful foundation as well. I feel like between the two, I get a little bit like slightly like a centimeter um more longevity from this one like it just looks better for longer versus the one from house labs but this is only the second day i wear the house labs and i've worn this one several times since reviewing so i have i have more to compare but if you already have this one then you can probably skip out on this new one from house labs from the drugstore a ride or die for me is l'oreal Freshwear. i feel like the textures the consistencies of both of these foundations are super similar because this one is a very watery like serum like a form serum like formula um as is this one from house labs and i have the shade 420 in this one i actually need to get a new one because this one is old i don't use it anymore i just keep it around for um swatching shade swatching but this has always been one of my favorites it is more of a natural finish and definitely a medium coverage foundation from the drugstore from l'oreal i also thought about catrice true skin this is a hydrating foundation as is this one from house labs and this one just looks great like this will get me 10 12 hours of good wear you can find catrice on their website and on amazon i want to say this foundation is like 11 or 12 dollars. so if 45 is not in your budget right now don't blame you guys uh check out this one from catrice the true skin hydrating foundation this is a beautiful one and then um this foundation also reminded me of the one from lys the triple fix serum foundation again very similar in consistencies this one also provides like a natural finish and this is about a good medium coverage actually the coverage on both of them is super similar but i think you get a little bit more coverage with the one from house labs i do enjoy this one from lys quite a bit however longevity wise the house labs is definitely better for me and my normal to oily skin this one does look a lot better at the 10 hour check-in versus this one um as far as the powder goes it's hard for me to it's hard for me to compare this powder to other powders that I have in my stash So I kind of feel like maybe it's similar to these two. This one is discontinued This is the Too Faced peach perfect setting powder, but um, I think they're both very finely milled both of these powders and I feel like this one does keep me matte for a little bit longer, but you can't really get this one anymore. Um, I think you can maybe find one or two shades available. So this is going to be a really nice alternative for this one. Um, but I have a brand new, I just opened this a few months ago. I had been saving it. So I'm, I'm well stocked on this one. And then I also brought out this one from Thrive Cosmetics. This is the Filtered Effects Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. This one, they have similar packaging in that they have like the little little netting in here and I really like this one especially for like setting the under eye area this one from Thrive Cosmetics definitely worth checking out and it does a good job of controlling the oil in my t-zone overall guys I think the Lady Gaga and the House Labs team have two home runs two big hits on their hands with their new complexion products I can only hope that they release a concealer in the very near future now I want to hear from you guys let me know what you thought about today's foundation review and powder review let me know if you're going to be picking this up maybe you already did hopefully you got the best shade for your skin tone just sound off in the comments down below and let me know what you thought I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at Stay Stay hydrated guys, drink your water, and I'll see y'all very soon. Bye!